that we cannot improve what we cannot measure. Only less than 20% of the countries have available data in SDG 13 on climate action. Citizen science is currently contributing to the monitoring of five SDG indicators, but it has the potential to contribute to 76 others. We invite members of the community to come along with their broken items, their broken phones, toasters, laptops, uh, and work with a volunteer to work out how to fix it. So whenever new devices come through the door, we record data about what the product is, why it's broken, what was done to try and fix it, and what the barriers were to repair. And we aim to draw a line between these communities and policymakers. So using the huge database of broken products that we've collected, we designed uh, a series of citizen science micro tasks. We work with the, with the citizens and with our academic partners to uh, design uh, the sensors uh, that uh, we would use to collect sonic data. The, the sound signature of a given space can give us a lot of information uh, that can help us tackle uh, these societal problems and uh, to give us a different way to discuss, not just with citizens, but also with uh, important stakeholders uh, like the government and academia on, on how to uh, redesign these soundscapes. There are still occurring some major pollution events here uh, in the estuary that are not being detected by training the fishing community to be alert to these uh, problems and also to uh, know how to collect water samples uh, in, in, these, in these places where, where this happened, uh, we will be able to provide a solution. Uh, we are not only uh, um, using their traditional knowledge and their local knowledge about the places where uh, these events, these pollution events happen, but also we are fostering uh, um, this uh, citizen science on these uh, um, usually not uh, uh, targeted um, communities.